Hey agents, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can counter the dreaded bleed build in Div 2 PvP. Long story short, it's bonus armor. Long story long, there are several ways to get bonus armor for yourself and your teammates, and timing is everything. But before we delve into all that, if you've been enjoying my content and haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Join the Center for the Blind. Just do it! Like, why wouldn't you? Do it! Okay, so first, let's review what exactly the bleed build is. It's very straightforward build with tons of synergy. You have the Ridgeway's chest piece, Wicked on your backpack, and Sadist on your weapons. You probably already know this is a very strong build. Is it OP? Not at all. So how does the bonus armor counter it? Well, you cannot be bled from Ridgeways while you have blue armor. And if you're not bleeding, they aren't proccing Wicked or Sadist. So no extra damage. In fact, the same is true for both the bleed and blind from Trauma. Neither will proc until your regular armor is damaged. Bonus armor will also protect Vigilance. You'll get the 25% damage until they break through your blue armor. One thing to keep in mind is that blue armor only protects your buffs from weapon damage. A stinger hive can still make you bleed, allowing bleed build users to proc Wicked and obviously Sadist, as well as deactivating Vigilance. We also came across something of a glitch, perhaps? where Trauma sometimes wouldn't proc when the shooter had bonus armor, regardless of whether or not his target had it. Just keep that in mind if you use Trauma with Adrenaline Rush for whatever reason, or if your teammates are using talents that give you bonus armor, you may want to reconsider your build. So now on to all the ways we can get the illustrious bonus armor. First off, Galvanize is a great way to get bonus armor for you and your teammates. Applying Shock, Disorient, Ensnare, or Blind to an enemy gives you and your teammates 20% of your armor as bonus armor for 10 seconds in PvP. Then there's Vanguard. Very straightforward. Put up your shield and your teammates get 20% of your armor as bonus armor for 20 seconds. You do not get this bonus armor though. To use these most effectively, you'll want to proc them before the fight begins so as to avoid your or your teammates white armor being damaged. They both last fairly long though, so you've got some leeway. Another great source of bonus armor is the Gunner Armor Kit. It gives you 30% bonus armor, or 60% if you're using Efficient. Using this before engaging with the bleed build will give you a big advantage at the beginning of a fight. The next source, Adrenaline Rush, is definitely the most popular choice in PvP. No trick to this one, just get within 10 meters of an enemy and you get 20% bonus armor or 23 with the Matador backpack per enemy. So this can protect you from the bleed for up to 69% of your armor every 5 seconds. The only catch is, you need to get within 10 meters of them to get your bonus armor, while their bleed has a range of 15 meters. You'll really need to play your angles correctly. Probably the most effective source of bonus armor to counter the bleed build is, you guessed it, System Corruption. It gives you 50 to 100% of your armor as bonus armor, and you can pop it instantly every 20 seconds. When using this set, you would normally use your ability after taking damage to take advantage of the 20% armor you get, but when fighting Ridgeways, you'll need to pop it before they get a chance to bleed you, so the positioning and timing is key here. There are several other ways to get bonus armor, but these are not nearly as effective at countering the bleed build. So here is one example of how you should be playing against a Ridgeways build. At first, my team has the armor boost, so when he shoots me from behind, I don't bleed until he burns down all my blue armor. Once he finally does, I drop my booster to cleanse the bleed. He bleeds me again, and here I'm running System Corruption, so I want to wait until that bleed is off before I pop my ability so he doesn't get the damage from Sadus. Just as the bleed wears off, I pop my ability, take the fight, and despite the shield and my potato aim, I survive. Now we'll check it out at full speed.
So there you have it. Next time you come up against a bleed build, put on System Corruption and Adrenaline Rush and have a teammate run Galvin Guard. Take that 159% bonus armor and take a big hot steaming shit on their head, leaving them on the floor wondering why you refuse to bleed. And if you think that sounds like a good idea, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.